France has been struck by another terror attack, another beheading to boot. This is the second one in two weeks. It happened at a church in Nice. Three people have been killed. One of them, a woman, was beheaded. Seven people are injured. This week couldn't have taken a worse turn for the president of France. Emmanuel Macron is under attack from all sides, it seems. Leaders of Muslim countries are slamming him for his policies. The virus from Wuhan in China is infecting more people in France. The country is under lockdown again. And now another terrorist attack has happened, inflaming tensions in a country that's already on the edge. It happened inside a church at 9 a.m. French time. The terrorist entered the church. Ten minutes later, he had killed three people. Within minutes, the police arrived. They killed the terrorist. Vion is the only network from India that has been getting you ground reports from France all day today. A police officer described how the attack unfolded. We're going to play it out for you, but I must advise viewer discretion. Some of you may find this description too graphic. Around 9 a.m., an individual entered the church, allegedly attacking the first person, a 70-year-old woman. I remind you that at 9 a.m., there was no religious service, so the Notre Dame Basilica was not entirely full. There were people inside, the faithful. A first victim had their throat slit by the perpetrator. A second individual, a man, died as a result of stab wounds by the assailant, who, on leaving, attacked a young woman in her 40s, who also died as a as a result of stab wounds by the terrorists. The church attack was followed by two similar events in quick succession. Reports say that a man carrying a knife was threatening passers-by on a street in Avignon. And in Saudi Arabia, a man was arrested in Jeddah. Reports say he had injured a guard at the French consulate with a quote-unquote sharp tool. There is no evidence yet that links these two incidents with the attack in Nice. In France, authorities are calling it an act of Islamic terrorism. The mayor of Nice was the first elected official to appear before the press. He called the terrorist an Islamo-fascist. There are no doubts on the motivations and the determination of the perpetrator, who was constantly repeating Allah Akbar when he was being medically treated. Also, one of the three victims was the keeper of the church, increasing the emotions here. France is on high alert, the highest terrorist threat level. Security at places of worship has been stepped up. The French parliament observed a minute of silence for the victims. The government promised a quote-unquote firm and relentless response to this attack. La réponse du gouvernement sera ferme, implacable et immédiate. The government's response will be firm, implacable and immediate. I've already decided to raise the Vigipirat level to attack emergency level in the entire country. I want to tell them that the nation shares their pain and their immense emotion. This attack, as cowardly as it's barbaric, makes the entire country move. This is a difficult time for France. Less than two weeks ago, a teacher was beheaded in Paris. This was after he showed cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in class. French authorities responded by going after Muslim extremists in the country. Dozens of raids have been conducted. A major mosque has been closed in France. A Muslim aid group has been disbanded. And the teacher has been awarded France's highest civilian honor for upholding the freedom of expression. President Emmanuel Macron has faced a backlash from the Muslim world. Arab nations are boycotting French goods. Leaders like Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey and Imran Khan of Pakistan have hurled personal insults at the French president. They've called him Islamophobic and mental. Malaysia's former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has shockingly justified terrorist attacks. He said Muslims have the right to kill the French. I'll bring you the exact words in a bit. But here is what these irresponsible comments can potentially do. Trigger more attacks. France has been traumatized by these lone wolves. Islamic State-inspired terrorists who have been launching attacks. More than 200 people have died in such attacks in recent years in France. And authorities have struggled to stop them. Why? Because they are harder to contain. Almost impossible to neutralize. Anyone with a knife or a car can strike at virtually any place of their choosing. 
Today's attack in Nice has not been linked to the ISIS, but the terror group has had many fighters from France. This year, it published this poster calling for lone wolf attacks to be carried out in France. This is a digitally manipulated image of the Eiffel Tower going up in flames. Look at the recent attacks in France. They all fit a pattern. Samuel Paty was beheaded using a knife, the school teacher. In September, two people were stabbed in Paris. It happened near the offices of Charlie Hebdo, the magazine that published the cartoons of Prophet Muhammad. In July 2016, two attackers killed a priest in northern France. In the same year, a gunman drove a lorry into a crowd in Nice. 86 people were killed. I could go on, but you get the picture. One or two attackers weaponizing commonly available items for terrorist attacks. This is what France is up against. Some radical citizens and some world leaders whipping up the anti-France frenzy. The Muslim world's campaign against Macron has raised the threat level considerably. And just a short while back, uh, French President Macron visited the Notre Dame church. He said that France has been attacked by terrorists and the country will not give up on its values. The French president announced that 7,000 soldiers are being mobilized for security. They will be stationed to guard key French sites like places of worship and schools in France. Once again, our country has been hit by an Islamist terrorist attack. This morning, once again, three of our fellow compatriots have been killed in Nice in the Notre Dame Basilica. And it is quite clearly France which has been attacked. At the same time, we have seen an attack at the French consular section in Saudi Arabia, in Jeddah, at the same time as the arrests were made in France. I would like to express here, first and foremost, the nation's support for the Catholic population in France and elsewhere. After the killing of Father Jacques Hamel in summer 2016, once again it is the Catholics that have been targeted and a menaced country ahead of All Saints Day. The entire nation stands by their side and will continue to stand at your side so that religion can be practiced freely in our country. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.